Hey guys and welcome back to another video of Spark Plugs. So in this video tutorial, we will be making uh, these beautiful M8 Allen bolts in Fusion 360. So I guess this is exercise number 21. So hope you guys will enjoy the video. Let's get started. Let's click on the front plane and click L for line and make a line like this and just make the length as 30 mm like this. Press line again and make a line like this press d for dimension and give this a height of 4 mm like this press l again press l again and make a sketch like i am doing here now once done this dimension is going to be 8 mm beautiful and the angle between these two is going to be 30 degree so just drag it like this okay just undo it we will check that delete this angle for now press d for dimension select the height from this point as 6.5 and drag it upwards from this point to this point this vertical dimension is going to be 0 0.53 and make the similar case 0 0.53 here now once done the angle between these two lines is going to be 30 like this and here also delete this line press d again and make it 30 also now once done your first sketch is fully constrained select this point and make it coincident with origin now we have a fully constrained sketch now once done finish the sketch revolve it around the center plane click on new curve body and shift and n to enable the colors now click on this sketch go to create Go to polygon, go to subscribe polygon and make a polygon with a dia of uh, 6.5 but it is representing the radius so 6.5 divided by 2 it's 3.25. Now extrude cut it up to a distance of minus 6 like this. Now click on the front plane and slice the object like this. Press L for line and draw one horizontal line. Press D for dimension and give this a dimension of 4 mm. Press L again and draw one horizontal line. Press L again and from the topmost point join this. And again L here to here and join this. If I just hide the body this is how the structure will look like. Now press D for dimension, select these two lines and make it angle of 30 degree. Now if I just and for here also the sketch is over constrained so just delete this line. Press L again and make a line like this and press D for dimension and make the angle as 30 degree and just extend this line like this press t for trim and remove these extra parts bring back the component and just finish the sketch now go to revolve select this profile and this profile and the axis would be the middle one and we have a extr extrude cut here now go to modify go to chamfer Select this point and give a chamfer of 0.8 mm like this. Now go to create, go to thread and it will ask you about the face. Select this face. It will automatically judge according to the dia. It has already judged at a size is 8 mm. So the designation would be M8 and the pitch is going to be 1.5. That's what I needed and it click on molded to mold. Basically the option for the molded is to if you don't want your assembly to be handled. So if I just press OK, the thread is there, but it's an image, you know, that this is how your face fusion will not generate any unnecessary fail 
phase and your system will work smoothly but for now let's enable the molded command and instead of full length i am going to make the length as 29 and press ok ok yeah something went wrong okay i think i have missed some dimension so just go to the first sketch and press d again and this dimension just delete this dimension and give this dimension as 30 i have missed directed it now if i just go to thread and make this 29 this seems okay so this is how you make a Allen Bolt in Fusion 360. Hope you guys will enjoy this video on exercise. Definitely, this is going to help with the beginners in Fusion 360. So, hope you guys will enjoy. Do comment and do comment any queries that you have in the comment section below. And don't forget to share and subscribe. Thank you and have a nice day.